Gussy it up a bit. Gussy up? Uh, give it the tinsel routine. The only angle I can think of is your war record. My war record? The commando stuff I read about. You know, you're quite a guy. That's a college town, a couple of hours this side of Boston. A girl's college. Near Boston. Well, perhaps I could take the train to Benton this afternoon and meet you in Boston in time for the lecture. But this is something personal. I'd like to attend to it alone. A girl's college, naturally. Susan M. Millicott, boss, I've got it. Got it? A gold locket given to her by her father and then given to... Boss, I've hit the jackpot. What are you doing? I'm going to make this a bigger romance. Romance? Than... Who'd be interested in a romance between an astronomy professor and a college dean? Oh, but this is a very unusual woman. Professor Stevenson happens to be the skeleton in her closet. Now, if we rattle the bones a little bit... There's no room for romance in my career. Oh, the real me is very elusive. Miss Middlecott, uh, in spite of your theories, I... Well, I've always hoped that maybe our relationship could be a little different from that of a professor and the dean. Well, you see what time says. No room for romance. And uh, time uh, marches on. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Father, but there's no truth whatsoever to this article. The man's a complete stranger to me. Oh, come, come, Susan. Even if you didn't tell me about him before, I'm glad that you finally realize a woman isn't complete without a man. A home. This is some man giving a stupid lecture in Boston wants to use my name for publicity. Well, I don't know why you want to see this man in person unless... unless it's... No, father. It isn't. Perhaps the poor fellow had nothing at all to do with it. Oh, I don't even know your name. No, I yours. It... You angel, you bringing all the evidence. And this is Exhibit A. How do you do, Miss Middlecott? I'm Teddy Evans How of the Pomeroy do? Lecture Bureau. Miss Middlecott? I'm so glad you and Professor Stevenson got together. Grab it, boys. Professor Stevenson? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> but Miss Middlecott, if you just let me explain, I, I... I'm not going to talk to you. Now, will you please go away? All right, I'll go. But first, I want to give you this. Where did you get this? Would you uh, care to make a statement about your romance? Yes. Yes, I would. You may say it's been wildly exaggerated. Anything else, sir? Why did you sock him? I want an immediate retraction to that ridiculous story. Okay, Miss Middlecott, you just tell us what to say. I repeat, where is he? There isn't anything to say. I don't know where he is. It says here in the paper. Is it true you had dinner with him last night? I don't even know the man. But you did have dinner with him. Yes, but I don't know him. And you tell that paper of yours if there are any additional pictures in any subsequent editions, I'll call my lawyers. Who's your mommy? She's Miss Middlecott. Miss Middlecott? I also have a new daddy. He just got here from England. Your new daddy? I never saw him until she brought him back from Boston. I've just been hit with a horseshoe. Uh, goodbye, Louisa. And I found a new angle. Now get this. Miss Susan Middlecott has a daughter. Get it? Miss Middlecott. And her daughter just told me that Alex Stevenson is her father. Teddy, you've been drinking. Not yet, I haven't. But this is a scoop that's going to be celebrated in vintage wines. Hello, Merle. This is Pearl. I'm going to let you listen in on something. And if this doesn't send you, you got no place to go. Hello, Earl. This is Pearl. Listen, keep your ear to that phone. I want you to hear something. And if you got your hat on, take it off, because this will knock it off. Well, of course it's startling news. But you can't print that an unmarried woman of such prominence as Dean Middlecott has a baby. I don't care who the father is. It's libelous. Yeah, I guess you're right, boss. But that would really have blurred the ink. Well, I guess I'll have to find another angle. Hello, Merle. This is Pearl. Well, that ought to put a curl in your hair. Curl? It gave me a permanent. Hello, Earl. This is Pearl. How about that? Juicy. Have you heard the latest? No. Well, they say that... John... No. Not Miss Middlecott. Please believe me when I tell you I don't want to be the one to spread gossip about Susan and her baby, but it's already all over town. <laughs>